be fast today. In the van. So, got me boiling water on. Chopped up a few potatoes. Bits of potato, so we chuck them in. Ooh. Right, chop a few more. Yes. Very nice down here. Do a bit of camping. No matter where you're camping, you can still have something nice to eat, can't you? So we're gonna chop them up. I leave the skins on, I don't bother to chop them, they're, only, they're sort of pre-washed things anyway, so just leave them on. Extra vitamins! Do you how you uh, chop them up? I tend to chop them quite small because then they cook a bit easier. Down to personal preference. Now it's up to you what type of uh, corned beef you use. I'm using tinned because it's easier and I usually keep a tin in the van anyway. Just for emergencies. So, we'll pop that one in there, stick a bit more in, whoops a daisy. Right, oh, gone out, oh, it's just too windy in here, oh. right, yeah that'll do, lovely, right, and we'll go for the onion. Depends what you want to use. Red onions are quite nice, they get sort of quite sweet, so but I didn't have one of those, so I just got ordinary ones, so we'll have to make do with this one. You don't want to boil the potatoes to destruction, just um just sort of part boil them so they're a bit easier to cook when they go in there. So. Right, bit of oil, my oil, olive oil has gone a bit thick, I don't even see that, gone a bit gooey in the bottom but to keep it warm. <laughs> Potatoes are doing nice. Right. Ah, main ingredient, corned beef. Tesco's value. That'll do. Right. This is where you slice the top of your finger off. Add a bit more flavour to it. Lovely. Oh, I think my potatoes are done. Oh, near enough. Right. That was a trick to getting the corned beef out. I can't remember what it is. Uh, plate, I think. Oh, no, got a bowl there. Right, let's... Oh, there we go. Sorted, look at that. Lovely. Right. Those potatoes are near enough done, so we put those out of the way. Drop those in there for the minute. Oops. 
See, a little bit of oil in there. Probably can't see, but never mind. A bit of oil. Heat that up. Get it nice and warm. Right. We'll pop the onions in there. Right. And while they're doing, chop the old corned beef up. Put it into cut it into lumps. It depends on it's up to you how much corned beef you put in. I just sort of, I think just for me I'll just use half of it. That's plenty, don't need all that. Cut it up into chunks. I mean, the good thing with this is it's a nice quick meal because it's, I mean, the corned beef's cooked already, so you don't have to go mad. Cut that into chunks, like that. There we go, there's a few chunks there. Right. There. We'll keep tarring in the front today because uh, she's cut the camp with me this weekend, but she might, might start barking or wanting to have some of this for tea, so better sit inside and have a sleep in the front. Mmm. Smelly vision, that's what you want. Right, there's our plate for later. What are you doing? It's blinking cold down here. <laughs> it's warm in here. Oh, you see that? It's cooking nicely. There we are. Corn beef's going in. Bit more oil, I think. There we go. Oh, it smells nice. Right, now we've got to put our potatoes in as well. I forgot to drain these, so I'm going to have to spoon them out, I'm afraid. Actually, wait a minute. Let's, um... Where's the lid? Potatoes, Just them in there. Oh, look at that! Lovely. Right, let's give you a. Oh, look at that! Yum yum. <laughs> Corn beef hash. Oh, lovely. That's it, isn't it? Right then, what's next? A few mixed herbs, have a few of them in there. Oh, I haven't got many of those left. Oh well, that's it, they're all gone. 
uh, bit of pepper now different people have different things with these now you can either go for tomato sauce put some tomato sauce in it well you can put anything you want in it tomatoes what else can you put in corned beef fast Yeah. Um, oh, Worcester sauce, that's what my missus used to put in. I would put cheese in. Ah, cheese, yes. Yeah, that's good. good idea, yeah, cheese. That's, that's nice, yeah, I should have brought some cheese. Yeah, I should have put cheese. Yeah, then for never thought of that, that's a good idea. You'll have to do your own cooking videos next. <laughs> Right, let's put the lid on. It's getting a bit. Uh, I mean, potatoes is a bit hard. What I'll do is cook it till the potatoes just start to brown. When they just start to brown off a little bit, then um, perfect, ready to eat. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it smells nice. Mm. Best things in life come to those who wait. I've been waiting all day for this, I'm starving. <laughs> Anyway, Torrin says yes, he's hungry too. sauce we'll have a bit of that we'll put some of that in after I think Oh, 15 minutes. Well, it's not too bad then. Ooh. Hmm. Just noticed my handle's melted on the top. Hmm. Tighten that up. Oh, that sounds nice. Listen to that sizzling away. Lovely. Right, I think what we'll do, I think we will add this tomato sauce next actually. So what we'll do is, we'll open that. We'll drizzle that in there. There we go. And we'll stir all that in. Warm it up, lovely jubbly, and it'll be all ready to go.
making a mess here. Right, that is it. Nice, lovely job, Look at that. Oh, pop! There she is. One corned beef hash. Lovely. Right, I'm going to tuck in and enjoy this one. Hope this was useful to somebody. And I hope when you tuck in you're going to enjoy yours. So um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now. <laughs>